All right, so this is exercise 1916, and it says on, on December 31, 2020, Berkler Inc. had 200 million shares of common stock and 3 million shares of 9% $100 par cumulative preferred stock issued and outstanding. On, Gen, on March 1, 2021, Bar Berkler purchased 24 million shares of its common stock as treasury stock. Um, and Berkler issued a 5% common stock dividend on July 1, 2021. 4 million treasury shares were sold on October 1. So they bought 24 million on March 1st and sold 4 million of it on October 1. Um, net income for the year was 150 million. So we're, what we're going to do is first we're going to calculate the two parts. The first part is the income available to common. We start out with net income and these are in millions. So we'll stay in millions. Our, our preferred dividend is going to be calculated as the $100 par. Um, and it says 9% par, and they had 3 million shares. So we're going to use uh, the par as per share and the 9% as a um, percentage. And so we're going to subtract that. I'm going to make this a negative number and multiply these three. It's equal to the $100 par times the 3 million shares times the 9%. And so there's a preferred dividend. And since it's cumulative, you always subtract that. And so our income available to common is going to be the 150 net income plus this negative number, or 123 million. Now we're going to calculate the weighted average uh, common shares outstanding. And we're going to do that by calculating first the opening shares, which is 200 million. We're, again, we're in millions. And we're going to multiply that by 1.05 because we had a stock dividend during the year. And that leaves us with 200 million times 1.05, 210 million. And, that's, and that lasted us from January 1 to March 1. So that's going to be for equal to 2 January and February divided by 12. And we're going to multiply that 210 million times that 16% and that gets us 35 million. And then on March 1, we bought back 24 million shares. Treasury, Treasury stock purchase. And that is m minus um, minus 24 times 1.05. Because the stock dividend occurred on July 1, this occurred before that, and we multiply it by 1.05. And so the effect is uh, to multiply this by 24 times 1.05 minus 25.2. And so the balance after the purchase is going to be the 210 minus the 25 uh, treasury stock repurchase. And that balance is at 3,121. And that extended from March all the way to um, October 1. 
So it's going to be March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months equals 7 divided by 12. And that's going to be this fraction. And we're going to multiply that 184.8 times the 0.5833. And we get 107.8 weighted average shares outstanding for those seven months. So, and then on Treasury stock issued, and this was issued after the stock dividend. So now we're going to have a, an additional four, but we don't we don't make any adjustment because it's occurred after the stock dividend, and that gives us four more. Um, Four here, and the balance at ten one twenty one is going to be one hundred eighty four point eight plus the four million one hundred eighty eight point eight, and that's going to be for October one all the way to December thirty one. So that's going to be for equal three divided by twelve or 0.25. We multiply that times 0.25 and now when we add these up, I'll add these three here, we get 190 million and so our earnings per share, this is basic earnings per share and it's basic is going to be equal to the net income which is the 123 million, that's income available to common. It's not really, this is income available to common, to common, divided by weighted average shares outstanding, which is the 190 million and we end up with is equal to 123 divided by 190 and this is going to be in dollars and cents 65 cents basic EPS earnings per share and that's the solution to exercise 1916 now diluted earnings per share you'll have to follow what we did in class um, for for doing that, and I'll put those slides up there for you. Anyway, um, there you have exercise 1916.